Due to copyright issues, certain portions of the video have been muted. Those portions will be sped up for viewing convenience. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, exactly. If your best players aren't your best players in the playoffs, you're not winning a single round. There's no way. If Matthews and Marner have a similar showing to what they had last year, they have no shot. They just don't. It sucks, but that's why you pay your best players the money that they're paying them. They, Yeah, yeah, it has to be them. There's nobody else. There's no other way to look at it. It's It's got to be them. It's got to be... That's just... It's what it has to be. Ah, man, yeah, like... It's just... Who... My the difficulty I have with that is you you do not win a, a trade with Mitch Marner going out the door. First of all, you can't trade Matthews. No, there, there's no shot they can trade Matthews. But you lose a trade with Mitch Marner going out the door. There's no winning that trade, in my opinion. It's just he's so good, right? But also, if they can't get it done in the playoffs, what the fuck are they doing? Like, just, you know what they got to do? <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite fucking thing that people say. You know what they got to do? Wait until McDavid's contract ends. Sign McDavid. Imagine? No shot, though. No. They, by the way, that's not happening. It, McDavid will probably be an oiler for life because they will pony the fuck up the money. They're going to have to pay him like 16 to 20 million a year, probably. Because the cap's going to go up. Once, like, by the end of, I think, 23, 24, or 24, 25, something like that, in three, four years, the player's debt to the owners is going to be settled and the cap is going to go up. Like, we might go, we might see a jump of like 10 million in a season. I, I could see it, honestly. That's what they want. They want to be able to, like, the owners want to be able to set their cap, but also have it go up a little bit based off of, what you know the the profits are you know so i think i think that mcdavid when he when his contract comes up i think it's gonna be right around the time that the that the cap's gonna go up yeah I, that's what i mean like i just think that i mean there's no situation that you have matthews and mcdavid on a team that it's a bad thing right but it could just never happen Edmonton's never trading McDavid unless he forces his way out then again people probably said that about Wade Gretzky and then 10 million dollars was offered I think it was 10 million I don't remember that trade that well but who fucking cares they dealt Gretzky anyways um, okay Nelson Skilly is definitely somebody I'm going to look at but my current targets in the draft are yeah it, honestly that's how I feel too I, I love watching hockey and so I love watching regular season hockey and it's fun to watch and everything but if you're not winning in the playoffs sadly it's it's the only thing that matters in the NHL is winning the cup so uh, the pres uh, that's actually a, a huge sticking point for me I wish that the president's trophy mattered but it just doesn't. It, it means nothing. The president's trophy is irrelevant. So, sucks. Anyways, thanks everyone for listening to that absolute uh, tangent slash rant on the the state of the Leafs. <laughs> uh, if you and if you're loving the hockey talk, slap a follow. I'm pushing for affiliate. Um, I, I'm obviously a huge hockey fans huge hockey nerd so you know if you like what i'm it's all good i love it habs it's 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 uh a lot more fun than just sitting here staring at the screen buddy uh let's see here okay i'm gonna i i don't need to ask a bunch of questions let's see what i can do here we didn't make any profits let's see yikes Connor and Ehlers both improved. Shifley went up to an 89. That's huge. Yeah, same. Oh my god. I, I, honestly, sometimes I think that's all I do. Like, I tweet 
nonstop basically about hockey. Um, you can see my my Twitter up in the top. It's all to, all hockey all the time. Some good takes, some bad takes. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, man, Shifley and Morris Morrissey both improved a lot. Cop is gonna get paid somewhere else. It looks like. Too bad. There's no way he's gonna resign here. It's oh Timmons up to an 80. Love that. Love that for Connor Timmons. Invest line and up to an 83. It might actually be a good time to sell Shifley. If I could depending on what I get, I don't know that I win a deal that has Shifley going out the door, but he just doesn't fit our lineup. Him and Kyle Connor both don't fit our lineup. But Kyle Connor's, you know, Kyle Connor. He is getting older, but he's got such a good cap hit. I don't know. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look and see what's there. If if something's there, yeah. If something's there, that's worth it for sure. But I'm not gonna deal him for nothing, right? Like, it's still Mark fucking Shifley. <laughs> um, Okay, let's see what we can do for first overall. I wouldn't mind getting Shane right, you know. It's It's not as far off as I thought it would be. I'm not interested in dealing this year's first because I do want to get one of those guys. I really, really want to get one of those guys. But they like next year's first. And I I think this might actually go through. And if it does, I get Shane Wright. Like, what do you think, Habs? I trust your judgment. Like obviously it's a it's a big move to sell a first, but I don't think I'm gonna have a chance at Connor Bedard. I don't intend at least to have a chance at Connor Bedard. I should say that. I my plan is not to be able to get Connor Bedard. <laughs> if I do, something bad happened. Right? Okay, I'm I'm gonna try this. How much more am I willing to go? That's tough. I'll trade you Andrew Cobb. You can have first shot at re-signing him. No, I want to. I want to actually have a chance at re-signing him. Honestly, um, how about Chisholm as well? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to happen. I'd have to give up something serious. I think. Like, one of my best players, an A prospect, or maybe a B prospect, but like a really good prospect, and a first next year. Like, if they're not willing to do this, then I don't know if I'm going to get first overall. Is this even worth it, Habs? I only have 30 seconds. I got to pull the trigger here. I'm going to try it. Yeah. I don't think I got the first overall pick here, boys. Like, if that's if they're not biting on that, I don't think they're biting. Yeah. Damn. He's so fucking good, too. Fuck. That sucks.
Yeah, he's only high elite. I mean, he's high elite, but... Yeah, you know what? I think he would honestly... This version of him would be better to play because he's got close quarters, which is really good in play. Uh, Elite Edge is really good in play. And so is Third Eye because it gives you a huge bonus to pass assist, eh? But, yeah, ah, I don't hate missing out on that player, if I'm honest with you. Nobody wants to move their first first round pick. That's odd to me. That's so odd. Nobody's interested. I would really like to get Ivan Roshashenko. I think it will I think it'd be worth it. He's a year out. I think he's probably gonna be something like a 74 overall. You know what? I think Yurov's better than Maroshenko. Like he's high top six, right? Maroshenko's medium lead. Man. I still think the Dolman's the best of any of those three. I get the sense first. Big. I don't know what's going to happen. Ah, Slavkovsky's really good too. Fast. Strong. He hits. He's big. 6'4, 220, man. He's a big kid. I'm in on dealing next year's first. Oh, that's right, Sebastian Cosa. You don't want it. Uh not gonna have a first i'm not gonna be able to get the first though right though yeah fuck okay then okay hear me out i don't i think that shifley's value is probably capping out right here right Yeah, maybe I maybe I hold and sell Shifley in the first next year and another first maybe to try and get Bedard. We have some time. I'm definitely moving up for for let's see here. Oh shit. Controller died. That's not good. Gotta plug it in. That's what I mean, but I think one more year, he'll be able to hold enough, I think. It, like, I think his value will stay. It, he might even climb a little bit in overall next year because he's still only 29. That first line was so good, too. In terms of, like, goal differential while they're on the ice, they clearly won the... The goal differential battle. Logan Cooley, 
Really good. No abilities, though. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. That's kind of a that's kind of an L for uh for the sharks. Oh, the sharks. That sucks. Oh, uh, I could actually see this, by the way. Slavkovsky going to the crack, and I could really see that. I think he's uh Yeah, I think he's really good. Like obviously Shane Wright's the clear best player. But I think Slavkovsky's very, very good. But I guess the question is where would Yurov even play? Like, would I be able to get him into the lineup in the next two years? I don't know. It's tough to say. I mean, he's really, really crazy good. I would love to get him, but Dalman is the priority. No questions asked. Dalman is the priority. I really, really want to get him. I'm happy with where our defense is. I think I go up to 12. Oh shit, that should be like right in line to get us that other guy. Our first and a fifth. Flames fifth for uh jump up two spots. Think they're gonna do that? I don't know if they're gonna do that, but I'm gonna try it. No. Okay, I'll try our fifth. But I, I don't think we're gonna do it yet. It's gonna be, it's gonna have to be something more, obviously. But what is the question? Mmm, Joachim Kamel. He's really good. He's gonna be good. Not at the top time. I really, really want to move up here, but. I don't want to overpay to move up. I really don't want to do this. Three spots, but I really, really want to get Dalman. I, I have to yeah, I, I, you know what? I'm going up to get a guy that I really want to get, though. The only other thing that I'm thinking here is what about... Could I do something like this? Where Lowry goes out... I will. Oh, that's right. Oof, I almost traded for Rasmus for Salinen there. 
Glad I looked over. Holy shit. That's terrible. Right? Like, I just don't see this as a deal that actually helps us that much. Matthew Silva. Like, I'm moving up three spots, sure, but. I'm gonna try and deal Brendan Dillon here. I think he makes a little bit too much money to play on our third pair. And I'm gonna have to find somebody that works on that pair. I really, I want to avoid dealing our first if I can, because I'd like to use it to move up to get two of these guys, you know? Who could I take back that is both worth my time and also not gonna completely tilt the scales of this deal. I'm not against Dyson Mayo. I'm gonna try this guy. I know I'm gonna have to overpay, but what about two fifths here? Richie. Yikes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely, I'm definitely overpaying, right? Just a, not enough. They want more. Ooh, seven damage. Yeah, I'm gonna try Gouch. He's, yeah, he's not an extended literally a ufa it just is to make the contracts work and this is not an easy deal to make happen right now I just don't know if it's going to happen. Like, I'm... Here's the thing. I know... Like, am I willing to take the chance that Dalman actually makes it to 13. It's 
tough. That's the thing. Like everything's gone in order so far. I'm trying to leave myself open to get a chance at Yurov, but I just I'm I'm trying to have my cake and eat it too, and I just don't know if it's if they're gonna let me, you know. I really don't think that Dalman makes it to there. Let's see if the Flyers like it. It actually kind of looked like that was more likely to go through. Let's see. Oh my god, they don't have anyone on their block? Okay, well then. Skaters, geez. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen without, like, a major thing involved here. Like, it's going to have to be, like, my first or something. Shit. Yeah. No, I have it on medium. That's the thing. It's... I, I want it to be difficult but not like literally impossible to get anything but yeah well no. I'm gonna get the tenth pick. If I can, that is. Just to be clear. I'm gonna need that first anyways to try and go after Bedard. Smarashenko. Man, he's so fucking good. Wanted to get him. This feels like such an overpay. Man. Oh, they said just a touch. Okay. Just a touch. How about instead of a fifth, a 
fourth. Okay. Not a fourth. A third. There it is. Picks. Picks gets us the tenth overall pick, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and make something happen for 11 without dealing my first next year, which is going to be next to fucking impossible, man. No, wait. I'm going to try and make something happen for 12 because they liked both Brendan Dillon and Adam Lowry. Hey guys, if you like what you see, consider dropping a like, follow, and subscribe. Check out the links in our description uh, for other social medias, and hopefully we'll see you again next time. Bye.